Hi everybody, I'm Frank O'Brien, and welcome to Robert Francis Wine Diary. Today, in the third of my wine series on little wines, I'm tasting a Primitivo. For those of you who aren't familiar with Primitivo, it's actually very, very close to American Zinfandel. It's often a lot better price as well than American Zinfandel, but if you like those kind of dark fruits with some red fruits in there as well, and big punchy pepper and spice, then Primitivo uh, could be the wine for you if you like big, big concentrated wines. So this is the Primitivo di Mondura, 2006 from Lidl, and this retails for a recession busting $6.99. So at $6.99, if it's any way good, we could be away in a hack here. We're kind of one all at the moment on the Lidl series so far, one good, one not so good. So let's see how we get on here. This was scored 82 points by Richard Banfield, who's the Lidl Master of Wine. Um, so hopefully we'll see it meets those point scores. So Primitivo generally comes from the south of Italy, down where you get Sala Salinto as well, and, and kind of big earthy wines that would go well with red meats and stews. So with that in mind, let's have a look at this one. So it's a nice color, kind of a cherry red, uh, black color to this wine. On the nose, it smells a little thin, actually, to be honest. And it smells a bit cheap. You'd know, you'd know it was a $6.99 bottle of wine on the nose for me. There's no real characteristics of anything on the nose. There's a touch of fruit but it's not hugely inviting and some some kind of dull spice but it smells like kind of it's not freshly ground pepper it's kind of stale pepper or something so it's not really yeah not really doing it for me on the nose I'm afraid let's hope it makes up for that on the palate yeah I'm afraid we have another problem here this um, for me anyway. This this really is not a this is not a nice wine. It's it's it tastes cheap. It smells cheap. It kind of has that kind of thin bitterness that you would get with a cheap wine, and it really isn't doing anything for me. Yeah, this is it has some red fruits. It has some spice, but really at $6.99 I'd be saving your money up and buying something else. This isn't as bad as the African Rock from Aldi, which was a little bit cheaper, but uh, this is is up, the, up that alleyway with it. Points wise, I have to go 72. Um, really isn't an, uh, a nice wine. Nowhere near the 82 points that um, that the little wine website says it is. To be honest, at six ninety nine, I, you know, there's a whole load of fruit balmy Chilean Merlot or Cabernet Sauvignon or even some some own branded Australian stuff that would be better than this. Uh, this really is uh, not worth the money. So I'm afraid that's two one uh, in in the bad columns for little so far. But hopefully uh, the remaining five will will deliver something. Definitely the New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc that I re reviewed, the Rose Creek, is, is worth worth looking at, but this, I'd keep your money in your pocket, people. So on that sad note, we'll end the third of my wine series with Little Wines, and uh, we'll see you next time on robertfrancis.wine.ie.